when you've started working on building up your confidence, being anxious or being avoidant, especially when it comes to meeting new people, is not a death sentence. But if you can throw in a smile in there because it becomes more inviting, it becomes more warm to the other person who is on the receiving end of your eyes and your eye contact you have to develop a strong sense of communication skills so that it elongates the conversations that you have with people, especially in social settings, okay? okay. So ask the questions that you need. What do you think about friends? What do you think about uh, female friendships, you know? I'd like to know, oh, I can't stand female friendships. There's your answer. There's your answer, girl. Choose environments that are naturally comforting and comfortable for you. So if you like a certain coffee shop, okay? Choose that coffee shop. Let it be you that chooses where you meet them because then you're naturally more at ease when you meet them there. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. It is I, it is me, it is just Katleo, also known as Katleo Malela. It, whichever one works for you. Uh, I'm so excited to have you back on the channel. Thank you so much for being here. As always, thank you for choosing me over and over and over again. I really do appreciate it. This is going to be the beginning of a new series that I really want to harness and hone in on. Um, I know a lot of you are here because you share quite similar characteristics characteristics to me in terms of being an introvert and I can see in a lot of your comments that uh, we talk about being introverted quite a lot and I get asked a lot of questions about how to deal with certain things especially as an introvert so I thought to myself I want to start a series here where we just talk introverted things and we deal with the things that happen with introverts in life in in everything that we go through on a daily basis how to approach things like dating and relationships, meeting new people, um, you know, just work environments as an introvert and all of that. And I thought that it would be great to start a series where even introverts can feel included a little bit because we know that we live in a society that is highly dominant on extroverts or ambiverts, that uh, introverts are a little bit uh, misunderstood. Even though there are so many platforms where you can learn a lot about introverts like TikTok and Instagram and even just generally online you can learn quite a bit about what introverts are how they move how we move baby and all of that so I decided to start a series called I am okay with me um, and I I I chose that because I feel like a lot of the time as introverts we question ourselves as well when it comes to our anxiety, how we deal with other people, how we engage with the world around us, that it brings a lot of questions, um, internal thought processes with regards to who am I, why can't I do this, why is this so difficult for me to do, why can't I do that, that kind of thing. So I started this series and it's just I'm okay with me and it's just to highlight that it is okay to be an introvert especially living in an extroverted society and this time around I wanted to start this one with being an introvert when it comes to dating and meeting new people. Maybe you're sitting there at home and you're thinking to yourself I really do want to meet new people. I really do want to get myself out there, whether it's on social media. I want to date. I want to make new friends. But I'm so introverted and I, I don't know if this is something that is meant for me or if this is something that I can do or achieve for myself. And I'm here to say, you can do that. You can actually, as an introvert, go out there, meet new people, date, but it might just take you slightly out of your comfort zone. So if this is something that you want to see, if this is a series that you would like me to continue with, please like the video, please comment down below. Let's get the video to over a thousand likes. You know, I'm always, I'm always asking you, I'm always asking you for that because it really does help my channel so, so much. But, um, I really wanted this space to be not only a space where we talk, have fun, vlogs, all of that, but a space where introverts can come and feel seen and introverts can come and get a bit of, you know, ideas on what they can do 
to make their lives a little bit better as introverts, whether it's in the relationship space, friendship space, dating space, uh, professional space, whatever it may be. So first things first, we need to understand that when you are an introvert, if you're going to step out into society and say, I want to date, I want to meet new friends, I want to engage more with other people, it comes a lot with building up your confidence levels. You can't not do the work internally and expect people to respond to you outwardly or externally. So a lot of the time it starts with building of confidence, especially for yourself, within yourself, outwardly, so that you can be able to engage with other people outside, man, on the streets, man. A lot of introverts struggle with social anxiety. Like, it's a thing. It's spoken about so many times on TikTok. It's spoken about everywhere. That introverts, one of the biggest things we struggle with is social anxiety. The reason for this is that we adopt a very avoidant or anxious attachment style to what is happening in an of around us, right? Yes. Externally, how we engage with the environment around us, how we engage with other people, just by premise of being an introvert. But this shouldn't become a hindrance, especially when you've started working on building up your confidence. Being anxious or being avoidant, especially when it comes to meeting new people, is not a death sentence. Yes, it is something that you might need to start working on, but this is why I am here. I am going to give you some tips and tricks as to what you can do when it comes to meeting new people, whether it's dating, friendships, anything of that sort of that matter. So if you find yourself in a space where you are ready to date or where you are ready to meet new people or where you are ready to get into the social world, right? You're an introvert, you just don't know how you're going to go about it. This is what I would like you to do, okay? So first things first, I've mentioned it already earlier on in the video, building up your confidence levels. Now, there's many ways in which you can do this. You can watch TikTok <laughs> videos, you can watch Instagram videos, follow the right accounts where they can help you build your confidence. If you're not in a place where you can consult someone to help you with that, you can find another way in which you can go about it. So building your confidence is going to help you engage with other people, especially when it comes to the outside world, to the external world. Building your confidence means instead of walking around, and I know we do this introverts because I do it as well. Instead of walking around and, you know, head down, you don't want to bring attention to you every single time you're at a party or you're at a social function or anything like that. You keep to your own corner. You just look down, you mind your business, all of that. Building your confidence is going to help you look up Smile, look at other people, engage with other people, even if it doesn't necessarily mean you're engaging with your mouth, but you can engage with your eyes. And when you, to do that, the first and easiest way to do that is just look at people directly in the eye. So if someone is looking at you, look at them. And if you can, smile. Throw in a smile there, okay? If there is someone that you like, or there's someone you really want to be friends with and you find yourself in the same social circles as that person or social settings as that person, try to do one big thing. Look at them in the eye, engage someone by looking directly at them. Don't stare, guys, okay? Don't stare and over stare and then, you know, just count one, two, three, then look the other way, okay? Count one, two, three, look down or what have you. But if you can, throw in a smile in there because it becomes more inviting. It becomes more warm to the other person who is on the receiving end of your eyes and your eye contact and your smile that says, I'm inviting you in to communicate with me in any way, shape or form. I'm inviting you in so that you can see that I would like to communicate with you. So very, very big thing that I have learned is that a lot of the time, because of my introverted nature, I would always just look down, keep to my own corner, not just mind my own business because I do not want their attention on me. When all I could have done is just look at people directly in the eye. And if you are in a space where you're in a social setting, do me a big favor, walk around, 
I know it might be difficult to mingle and all of that. That's fine. But walk around, move around from people to people, place to place. Don't stay in one area um, and, 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 you know, coop yourself in that area because you're not inviting any sort of mingling, socializing situation into that if you're just going to be there. It's almost like, oh, I'm here, but um, I don't want to, yeah, I'm here, but I'm good. I'm good just being here and uh, everybody leave me alone. But at the same time, you're out there because you're trying to meet people. So it kind of defeats the purpose. So sometimes moving around, if you're at an event, move around, have a look at what's going on, get a drink, maybe linger a little bit longer at the drinks bar or maybe do whatever. Just do something that shows that you are engaging with the moment and the people around you, okay? Very, very important. Look up, smile, look at people, engage them, show them like right now, I'm engaging you. I'm smiling. You can see through my eyes how I am communicating with you and I'm looking directly at you. So really, really important to bring up that level of confidence. And first things first, start by engaging people with direct eye contact. The next thing is you have to put yourself out there a little bit more. Now, to an introvert, this is daunting, okay? This is frightening. And when I say Put yourself out a little bit more. If you have an Instagram account and you hardly post on there, but you want to meet new people, you want to engage with people, you might have to post a little bit more. If you have a TikTok account and you want to engage with people and you, uh, you might just want to have to post a little bit more, you might want to repost things a little bit more. Just do things that put you out there a little bit more more frequently it is so important because then it puts your face out there people can see what you look like and they're like oh okay this girl reposted my video okay who is this girl then they go in there but they they must go in there and see something okay they must go in there and see something so they can't go in there and then see a blank avatar right so there's nothing there's there's no profile picture but here you are saying that you want to meet new people and all of that you have to work on your social strategy it's so important to work on your social strategy and that might mean putting yourself out there more socially it's so daunting at first but if you do it little by little little by little repost reshare retweet uh, or re-x i don't know what they call it now repost retweet re-x just put yourself out there a little bit more and watch what happens you have to be very very intentional with it take more pictures put them out there if you don't care to meet anyone or whatever that's fine then you don't have to do any of that but if you are going on to social media with an intention to do something in terms of meeting people or dating you're gonna have to put yourself out there a little bit more and one of the biggest things that you can do is also follow groups that have people in there that are similar to you that share the similar characteristics follow someone who does content about being introverted follow someone who does content or who speaks on being introverted and how you can meet new friends or uh, date more or any that kind of thing follow that person engage with their works comment in their video so that other people can actually see you commenting and that helps them see you or it puts you on their radar. It's so, so, so important. Um, so follow the groups, read the articles, um, take yourself to spaces where, you know, where you're like, okay, well, maybe I can go to an art gallery, right? Or maybe I can go to an art exhibition. I don't have to really talk much, but I'm there. I'm engaging, I'm with people who are similar to me in terms of my likes and my characteristics. This is a great place to start. But your social strategy must be on par, especially if you're an introvert. Not everybody is going to be an introvert and do what I do, for instance, as an introvert, but you don't have to. It just means putting yourself out there more for the world to see you. That's all it means. You have to also develop solid, strong, communication skills now this is hard we don't like to talk sometimes yeah now we can go to a function but we don't like to talk people are not going to get to know you or your personality or your character if all you said at the event was hi and 
bye and that's it people are not gonna know you they might just look at you and think wow that girl is dressed so nice her outfit is fire her makeup is amazing they might want to approach you because they feel like your makeup game is strong baby your brow game is strong and man i need this girl to advise me on this you know or your fashion sense is really strong this is an opener for a lot of people so if you're there and you dress nice and you look great and all of that and someone approaches you your communication skills this is where they get tested the most because as introverts, we just want to answer with one, two word answers and then call it a day. Unfortunately, we have to mingle and engage a little bit more than that so that we can meet new people or so that we can date. Same thing, it comes to your social strategy, right? So if you're trying to date, I highly recommend online dating because if we're, if we're not going to go out, which we should, we should Felicia, okay? If you're not going to go out, then at some point you need to put yourself out there socially so that you can be put on the radar of people who might be looking for someone like you. Um, so if somebody approaches you about your outfit and says your fashion sense is fire, oh my goodness, maybe they're just approaching you because they think your fashion sense is fire, but they actually think you're really pretty and oh my gosh, I'd like to get to know this girl a little bit more or know this guy a little bit more, but they start the conversation with your outfit. Then respond to it and say oh no i got these blah 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 and then come back with a response that solicits a response from them as well so oh thank you you like my jeans thank you so much i was actually looking at your hat wow where did you get that you know what i'm saying even though you're not crazy about the hat <laughs> but you have to develop a strong sense of communication skills so that it elongates the conversations that you have with people, especially in social settings, okay? okay. When you are speaking to someone or are engaging with someone, ask the questions that are relevant for you. That'll give you the answers that you need to see that in the moment, do I want to continue or pursue this relationship, friendship, potential blossoming anything, dating thing, any further. So you have to ask questions that will give you the answers that you need to see that, oh, this is definitely someone that I would like to make a friend. Or, oh, definitely somebody that I feel like I could get on with. Or whatever it may be. You need to ask the right questions. If you're just going to have a chat, you want to be friends with this person, but you've got no idea what they're like as a friend, solid, and you don't ask the right questions, how will you ever actually get to know? So you need to ask the questions that are in alignment with what you would like to see from that person that will determine whether you want to continue on engaging with this person any further, whether as a friend, dating, boyfriend, relationship, that kind of thing. So you have to ask questions. If you're dating, you have to ask questions. What are your views on kids? You know? What are your views if you're on Hinge, right? You're on Hinge, you're on Bumble, all these dating sites, Tinder. What are your views on kids? What are your views on marriage? Um, how do you feel about boundaries, you know? You need to communicate things like that, especially as an introvert, because often people do not know how to deal with introverts, not necessarily deal with, but you hear my chat, people don't know how to engage with introverts quite often. So it's really important for you to show them from the onset by communicating, asking the right questions, responding in a way that is solid and uh, proper for you so that it helps them gauge what kind of person you are from the jump, from the onset. So ask the questions that you need. What do you think about friends? What do you think about uh, female friendships? You know, I'd like to know. Oh, I can't stand female friendships. There's your answer. There's your answer, girl. So you have to ask the right questions so that you, they can be able to see and you can be able to see if this is something you would like to pursue further. Okay, so this is also really important, especially if you are an introvert who is looking into dating or you're trying this dating thing, right? Choose environments that are naturally comforting and comfortable for you. So if you're going to meet someone, right? So you've been talking to them, you've been exercising your conversation topics and your communication skills and sharing and asking the right questions and all of that. Now it's time to meet this person. 
There's going to be a lot of social anxiety that's going to come with that, right? Where do I meet them? Um, what am I going to wear? Uh, oh my gosh, what should I do with my hair, my makeup? Da, da, da. It's such an introverted thing. We're just constantly worried, right, about how are we going to present ourselves to this person and to the world, right? Choose environments. If you're meeting them at a restaurant or whatever, choose environments that are naturally comforting and comfortable for you. So if you like a certain coffee shop, okay, choose that coffee shop. Let it be you that chooses where you meet them because then you're naturally more at ease when you meet them there. Um, if they say to you, no, I'd like us to meet at a club and it's not for you. Clubs are not for you. You shouldn't even be meeting people at clubs, pre pre period, okay? But if they say, no, let's meet at the club or let's meet at church, um, come to church with me. Let's go to a, a sermon with me, a service with me and that kind of thing. If you're not comfortable with that, don't allow it. Um, rather say, well, um, can we maybe meet for brunch after church? Um, I might not be able to do church, but can we meet for brunch after church? Or can we meet blah, 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 and then you list where you would like to meet. Make it apparent, make it clear, you know, make it clear. Speak clearly, make it apparent that this is where I would like us to meet. Um, I'd just be more comfortable that way. I hope you don't mind. And they shouldn't. They really shouldn't. If they like you enough or, or they really want to get to know you enough, irrespective of in what way they want to get to know you, then they shouldn't have an issue with it. Okay, then they shouldn't have an issue with it. Uh, the last one that I definitely want to add to this, especially when it comes to meeting new people or dating or that kind of thing, engaging new people socially online, be honest from the jump. Do not lie. If you don't feel a certain way about, if you don't like this code of dressing, if you don't like this behavior, if you don't like groove culture and now you're meeting somebody who wants to be at groove every weekend, communicate it from the jump. Be honest from the onset that, you know what, I don't, it's not really my, my, my thing. It's not my vibe. It's not my vibe. It's not my vibe. It's not my vibe. <laughs> It's not what I do. Communicate it from the onset. It'll be so important and more rewarding for you in the long run without you having to now feel like you were pretentious in the beginning. And now the person that you're engaging with is thinking, but you were cool with this in the beginning. Now, all of a sudden, why do you have an issue with it? So be honest from the jump. It is so helpful. It cuts out all the other unnecessary tributaries that might make you misunderstand someone or make them misunderstand you. Just be honest. If you're on with this, you're on with it. Talk about it. If you're not on about it, you're not on about it. If you're not that religious, share the fact that you're not that religious. If you are not um, much for clubbing, right? If you are not somebody who, you know, you have a lot of friends and, and all of that, you don't like going out much, share that kind of information. It is so important so that people know how to engage you as well. As much as we are introverts, I think it is really helpful for us to also teach those who are not introverts how to engage with us as introverts. Extroverts really often a lot of the time don't have to do that, man. They, they just, they're out there already as it is, living, doing their thing. Whereas with us, it's a little bit more complex than that. So yeah, I hope this has helped. This, this was the first episode of the series, I am okay with me. I'm okay with me. I, it's okay to be an introvert and I'll show you how you can be okay with it. Okay, if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a like and a thumbs up. I would really, really appreciate that. It would go such a long way to boosting my channel and getting it out there and showing other introverts that, man, we can be cool people too. We just need to do things slightly differently, but we can be cool people too, okay? I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, thank you so much for choosing me over and over and over again. I'm gonna go now. Thank you so much for being here. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, sayonara.